Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy, got a video here on Alport Syndrome, uh, what you need to know for boards, a quick review. So what is Alport Syndrome? Uh, you know, in, in short words, in a, nut, in a nutshell, it's a mutation in your type 4 collagen. Now you probably remember from your cell biology, histology type course that type 4 collagen is important because we have it in our basement membranes, basal laminae, that sort of thing. Um, and if you have a mutation in that, you know, the place in the body where that type of, of structure is predominant, you're going to have problems there. So, in Alport syndrome with this type 4 collagen, you really see it a lot in places like the kidneys. The ears. And the eyes. Um... That's where you're going to see this type 4 collagen, you know, very predominantly. And, that, and that's going to uh, make more sense when we talk about the, the main symptoms, the constellation of the symptoms associated with Alport syndrome. Now, what you need to know for boards, uh, not only the symptoms, which we'll talk about, but you also need to know that 85% of the time, so basically in boards talk all the time, this disease, this mutation is sex linked, which means it's... XR, or you know, sex link recessive. Um, usually it's the call 4 a 5 gene that is mutated, collagen 4. And so if you have a mutation there, you know, and it's sex linked, uh, what does that mean? That means that males are going to be more affected or more severely affected in this disease process. You know, typically it's males that are affected. Females can have a singular mutated X, um, you know, copy of this, of this uh, gene here, but their symptoms are a lot more milder, um, just like painless hematuria. But uh, so you know, let's let's talk more about what the symptoms are now. We we started mentioning it, you know. So if there's abnormalities in the type four collagen in the these parts of the bodies that are up here on the board, the kidneys, the ears, the eyes, you're gonna see problems in those areas that then progress. Um, so let's talk about the kidneys first. You're gonna begin by seeing. Uh, you know, hematuria, nephritis, and this will progress to full-on renal failure. Um, the other big one for boards is in the ears, you know, and in your auditory canal and whatnot, the structures that you need to hear uh, for sensory neural hearing, you're going to have thickening and splitting of this type 4 collagen due to this mutation that will lead to uh, hearing loss. So the two big ones for boards that you need to know, like we just talked about, are going to be hematuria or kidney failure. And deafness. So the classic board setup is going to be you have a young male, right, because it's X linked, recessive, um, who comes into your clinic complaining of uh, blood in his urine um, and uh, deafness, you know, or, or decreased hearing. That's going to be the classic setup. Uh, to diagnose Alport syndrome, you get a skin or renal biopsy, which will show. This um, sometimes it's called a basket weave appearance, but instead of having a nice normal basal basement basement excuse me membrane, you're going to have thickening. They sometimes call it basket weave because these things don't fit together that well. It looks more like a weave than it does nice you know parallel perpendicular lines. Um, it's really going to affect the exchange across these membranes, like in the kidney, for example, leading to renal failure. Uh, treatment for this, unfortunately, at this point is just symptomatic. If they do develop renal failure, obviously can, can move to, you know, dialysis, um, and maybe even a kidney transplant if it works for them. Hopefully, in the future, there'll be some sort of gene therapy for this. But that is Alport syndrome. The big things to know for boards: it's X-linked most commonly, uh, and it commonly presents as, um, you know, painless hematuria and deafness. Um, the one thing is that on boards, it probably won't be a, you know, a first order question like that. Rather, it'll be a question like, in this patient, what is the structure that's messed up or mutated? And that would be, of course, the type 4 collagen, the basement membrane collagen. That's Alport syndrome. Thank you.